we get started on there, we want to give away some donations here. We've got a $25 anonymous donation. Thank you very much. And a $10 donation from Popiter45. Game crushing? What is this? XCOM 2? Also, because why not? He's also put that long Welsh name that begins with Leanne Fair that I can't read and I'm not even going to attempt it because we did it last time and somebody did a very good job at it. I'm not going to go and ruin that attempt. So nice try, Popiter, but no. So now we are getting ready. I believe we're ready to switch over. Are we uh, good to go? Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, we are going to switch over. So we've got Mujitsu. Take it away. Before I start the stream, there's anyone here on drugs? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> anyone thinking about going on drugs? <laughs> Again, I hope not. Don't do it. Because this is the game for you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a bare bones arcade brawler. Came in the arcades in 91. Ported to the PlayStation and Saturn 6 years player. And only came in Japan, naturally. It was released under the arcade gear. So these are very rare games that go for multiple hundreds on eBay. Yeah. So let's get started. And start. Yep. <laughs> so old, this old man gives you a magic stick called the Pula Ruler and says you're the new hope. Defeat everything. Which pretty much kills him in one hit. And then we're gonna. So someone's trying to steal the time key, which is basically like the, the master emerald. Unfortunately, and when it gets stolen, everything gets screwed up. Just spam. Yeah. yeah. So our efforts were in vain, as we'll find out. And that is level one. So now everything's messed up. Time is frozen. And we're on to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> Pula Rula. This game reminds me of Tulula does the hula from Hawaii. Did anyone ever hear about that? You know, some girl in New Zealand who uh, had to change her name because she was too embarrassed by it. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm not on drugs. Right. The hit detection is pretty bad in this game. What? Why is it not hit? Use our magic. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Now the next level is the most famous level in the game. It's basically someone's dream. <laughs> and it's legs. <laughs> no. Yes, you are. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Anyone want to see what's in the glory hole? Let's see what's in it. <laughs> it's supposed to be a pink elephant, but no red. What is in that? It's like the planet Earth. <laughs> This reminds me of that boss from The Simpsons. Did anyone ever remember this one? Come on. I'm 
swear that's the same boss. And now we're onto the desert level where all the rain has been stolen. And we've got to get it back. Unfortunately, all the, re all the references are Japanese. I don't really understand it myself. I'm sure it has a deep cultural meaning in Japan. Hit detection for you. Yeah. And then we're on to the boss. Flooding. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know what it's like to take magic mushrooms. <laughs> this is the most creepiest stage in the game. You should look at the background. I can also think of some other strange names. There was a girl called Anus in Denmark. There was um, well, a really famous one. There was a guy who was banned on Facebook because he was called Fuck the Beak. He's from, that was his actual name, but he's from Vietnam. He's talking to me, screw him. <laughs> Whoa. I can think of another strange name. There's a woman in America called Crystal Meth. <laughs> Someone's got to make a meme at this stage. Fish with legs. <laughs>
not yet seen my favourite power up yet. Every time you use your magic, it just does a random thing. No, still not got it. Apart from the red trash gamer. Does anyone know what this goes on for eBay these days? It's a pretty hard game to get. There it is if you want to see it. Yeah, I was trying to show the microwave power up, but I didn't get it. So now we're on the penultimate boss. This boss goes from ridiculously easy to ridiculously cheap. But I do want to show something once I've beaten the game. Something you're not going to find anywhere on the internet. And now we're on the final boss. I don't know how to avoid that attack. I didn't know that, Pendle Steven. Wow. Almost there. from killing him. Time! <laughs> now I'm going to show you something. I mean this game actually came with a strategy guide and a really detailed one at that. Why you would need a, a detailed strategy guide for this I do not know. But it does contain, contain cheat codes. Cheat codes you're not going to find on games F game FAQs. So I'm just going to tell you them just now. So I'm just going to skip this, reset the game, right, wait. let's enter some cheat codes, find out what they do. So, seven, zero, nine, whoops, zero, 
nine. Uh, what did that do? Sweet. I think it's a character select. Let's see what it does. Yeah, character select. So that's seven zero nine ten. That's another cheat code. So ten eight nine one. Uh, that's a no damage one. Now we'll try the next cheat code. So, 10, 8, 9, 2. That's a uh, stage select. And let's see the next one. So, 9, 0, Four, <laughs> ten. That's uh, <laughs> infinite credits. <laughs> now we're getting to the more interesting cheats. <laughs> so zero, zero, nine, one, one, three, one. Oh, this is a this is a really good cheat. I'll show you what it does. It's never really small. <laughs> as, if, as if this game wasn't messed up enough. Let's go back and alter it. Oh, now we're huge. <laughs> oh, Big thanks to El Sparrow for translating the, the cheat codes for me. Right. There's one more. This is probably the most messed up one of all. So eight zero nine one four eight and zero. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this does. Oh yeah, and just go back. Put back to normal size. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, overpowered. I don't, I don't know what that is. Whoa. And that's it. You won't find these cheat codes anywhere else, so we have to come back to the stream here, rewatch it. And that's it. <laughs> Yay.
All right, and there you go. So I got some donations here I want to read here. Also, you might be wondering why it's still me and we haven't switched over yet. Uh, the reason for that is because this laptop I'm using is a Swedish time, so it's an hour fast. Hmm. Some debated me. Anyway, so we have a $5 donation from Vanishment saying, Forte Mines. My mind is certainly wondering what I just saw there. It'll be better when we add the color red in next time. We also have a $20 donation from Viper saying, Kappa, 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 Simpsons is big, Kappa. It is you, wasn't it? Yeah, he's sitting right next to me with the biggest smile on his face for sending that. Also, we have a $10 donation from Congrugence saying, Gamer Dad here. Couldn't be here this time, folks. Hope you're all having a great time. Shout outs to Ben and Natty. So hopefully you'll join us again next time, mate. It'll be great seeing you here again. Get another uh, Super Hexagon run going on. That'd be amazing to watch. All right, we are ready for our next run here. We've got Rickle. He's on his phone. We're going to transition so he's on camera. Go for it. Take it away, man. Unmute him there. No, don't. Hey. Oh, well, that's life. Oh, no, wait. This is 